Egunon, good morning. Dear honored guests, ladies and gentlemen, I am pleased to be able to address you today at this important meeting in the Basque country discussing the implementation of the Basque Declaration. About a year ago, when we started to develop the Basque Declaration, we were looking back to 2015, where two major global frameworks leading to sustainable development were globally agreed. First, in September, we had the Sustainable Development Goals, a global reference framework asking nations to implement 17 agendas to become more sustainable. And in December, the Paris Agreement that is defining a target to reduce global warming or to, to stop global warming or keep global warming at the level that is below 2 degrees centigrade. Of course, both of these agendas also have to be translated and implemented on the local level. Both of these agendas are also asking for a massive societal transformation. And this, exactly this translation to the local level is what the past declaration tries to achieve. So the first step is to say that actions on the local level are of course integrating always several aspects at the same time. So there is hardly any action that is only relating to one goal, one sustainable development goal, or only to climate mitigation or only adaptation, but many actions are integrated. Therefore, we have tried to translate the global frameworks into 10 municipal agendas for transformation that are captured in the past declaration. However, this transformation that we are asked to do in the coming years is of course in a falling in a time where a lot of citizens are at unease with our political systems, with our societies, with developments. This is a phenomenon that is happening all over Europe. I think therefore we are particularly challenged to make this transformation work on the local level. And that is also why we have developed 15 pathways for making this transformation happen. These pathways are not referring to particular goals, but they are referring to the way how the processes should be implemented to achieve these goals. What we have done is we have translated the 15 pathways that we have developed into three different three spheres. The first one is to say that we need a socio-cultural transformation. This particularly refers to areas like educating people, but also how we can involve people in this transformative process in an active manner. This means to activate our citizens to take part in the transformation and also to shape the transformative agendas and implement the actions together with the public entities or the public administrations that are ultimately responsible. The second sphere is the socio-economic transformation. That means that we also have to make sure that while we address the transformation, we also address the interaction economically between the public and the private sphere and between to the rich and the poor in order to make sure that we have a transformation that is all in all also fostering social equity and social inclusion. Therefore, we are particularly asking for 
developing new ideas, innovative ideas to make also citizens actively participate in an economic way through um, participatory financing, through cooperative schemes and other methods in making things happen economically in a local in the local arena and to also um, create local value chains that keep value in the region and are not sort of importing investments and exporting uh, economic gains. And of course we have the third arena that is technological innovation. We need technological innovation but we have to make sure that technological innovations are working for the sustainability agenda so that technological innovation is not a means in itself but is a purposeful tool in order to make the necessary transformation happen to achieve the goals that are laid out in the 10 agendas. So this is in a nutshell what we have tried to do. Of course we know that it is, it is challenging, it's not, I would say, always going the most comfortable path, but it's the most sustainable path in order to ensure that we achieve the goals that we have been committed to achieve and also to make our societies more inclusive, more productive and more sustainable in the long way. So we. Thank you for your support and cooperation and we hope that we'll together manage to create more sustainable cities and towns in Europe with the help of the 15 pathways and the 10 agendas in the future. In that spirit, I wish you a successful event and a successful implementation once you're back in your cities and towns. Thank you very much.